All right, welcome to Talkin' Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Yesterday was another red day, so I have another four stocks on my watch list that hit their 52-week low. For those of you new to the channel, I have done two of these lists in the last week. These are all stocks that are legitimately on my watch list that I've been looking to buy. So I'm not just checking out stocks that hit their 52-week low and throwing four at you. These are stocks I've been following closely, some of which I own. So having said that, this is something a little different than we normally do. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please do us a favor and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below and let us know. So just a little bit about myself. I have a background in accounting. I was a CPA. I've been trading stocks on a retail basis for the last couple of decades. So I'm just hoping to share some of my experience with you guys and maybe we can make some money along the way. Okay, let's get to the four stocks. So it has been a brutal last few months. And with these four stocks, I'm gonna try to focus on what's happened in November, December, and January, because the indexes don't really show you. Yeah, we all know the last couple of weeks, and so far January hasn't been that great, but November and December were a nightmare for a huge segment of stocks including a lot of the small cap high growth stocks. The first one on the list is a company called Skills Inc. Stock ticker SKLZ. So you'll see Skills closed today at $5.52. It got down to $5.44 intraday today, and that is its 52 week low. This stock had a high this past 52 weeks of $46.30. So this stock has gotten destroyed. For those of you familiar with this stock, this was uh, Kathy Wood stock. This was everybody's favorite stock for a while. And now all of a sudden it's just been thrown in the garbage. So this is a gaming website and I've gotten a lot of feedback that people don't love their games, but I'm looking at their financials. This is a very high growth company. They have not reached profitability yet, but they do have some games that have already hit. They have a big deal coming up with the NFL, which I think is going to make a difference for them. But regardless of that, investors have left these guys for dead. So let's take a look at the chart. Okay, so here you can see this company hit their 52-week high on February 5th, 2021. And from that point until today, where it hit its 52-week low, it is now down 88%, so very nearly 90%. That is very dramatic. You're not going to find a lot of companies down close to 90% in one year. So again, remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy this stock. I'm just telling you this is on my watch list. These are stocks that are legitimately on my watch list that I have been considering buying. My only problem so far really over the last 45 days is there's so many good stocks that are totally destroyed. It's hard to pick and choose and it's hard to determine when the bottom is. So just because this is down 88% doesn't mean it's not gonna go down 93%. We all only have so much resources, so I'm trying to be patient and wait and choose, but boy, if I had infinite resources, I would be buying into all of these stocks. So again, not financial advice. None of us have infinite resources, so please be careful and, and do your own due diligence before making stock buying decisions. So, okay, skills down 88%. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so those of you familiar with the channel will know this stock. Those of you who are new to the channel may not know this stock. It's a fairly new company. It's called Cypher Mining, stock ticker CIFR. These guys are a Bitcoin mining company. They hit $3.06 on the day today, and that was their 52-week low. They closed two cents above that. This is a company that's been hitting a new 52-week low almost every day for a while now. The reason they're getting beaten down right now is they don't mine any Bitcoin yet. They have ordered a monumental amount of Bitcoin mining machines, and they will, by the end of the year, they hope to be one of the bigger Bitcoin mining companies in North America. However, at this point, they're not operating at all. So their stock is getting trashed. And this is a company that just went public via a SPAC a few months ago. So they are down drastically over that period of time. Okay, so let's go look at the chart and see what's going on with them. Okay, so you can see they were flatlined here somewhere around $10, and that's because they were a SPAC. The SPAC then merged with Cypher to become a Bitcoin miner. And you can see on that date, they kind of took off. On September 17th, they reached their all-time high of $15.39. Okay, so from their high until today, they are down just 
under 80%. This says 79.5%, so approximately 80%. This company just went public four or five months ago. So again, this is another totally beaten down stock very drastic. So again, I follow the Bitcoin miners very closely, so I have my eye on this one. A lot of you may not know it, but down 80% in just a few months. Okay, let's go to the third stock. Most of you probably have heard of this one, DraftKings. DraftKings was flying high. It was everybody's favorite stock at the beginning of football season. This stock was trading as high as $74. People were looking for it to go to 100. Well, unfortunately, it turned around and went the other way. So intraday today, it hit $21.33. That is its 52-week low. It closed seven cents higher than that, so very close to its 52-week low on the close. Let's go take a look at the chart and see what happened to these guys. Okay, so from their 52-week high on March 22nd, they are now down, DraftKings is down over 71%. This has been an extremely popular stock for retail traders. Unfortunately, like so many of these stocks that retail traders have focused on, this has gotten totally, totally decimated. And I, and I want to give you one more measurement on this one. Okay, so from November 1st until today, so that's just, you know, two and a half, less than three months. These are the three months that I'm talking about. These three months have been devastating for a lot of the stocks that retail investors trade and frankly a lot of the stocks throughout the whole stock market so you can see that since october 29th so basically since the beginning of november this stock is down 56 percent in just the last two and a half months almost all of these stocks have a very similar story november december and january have been an absolute nightmare for these stocks Okay, so the final stock is a company called Aero, stock ticker A-Y-R-O. Uh, this is another one that a lot of people may not be familiar with. It is a very small company. It has turned into a micro cap stock. It is now a $48 million market cap company. But that is mainly because the stock has been destroyed this year. And this one has something very interesting going on with it that I very rarely find. They are currently losing money, but not much money, and they expect to be cash flow positive within the next few years. They're trading at $1.31 right now, and they have cash per share of $2.09. They have $77 million in cash, and they are at a $48 million market cap. So it's not like they're bleeding money. It's going to be a even if they keep losing money at the rate they're losing money, it would be a few years for them to just have cash equal their market cap. So this is oversold in a way that I really almost can't even understand. Let's go take a look at the chart and see how bad it is. Okay, so from their high on February 10th until today, it looks like they're down about 88.5%. So this is another one getting very close to down 90% in less than 52 weeks. These stocks are all on my watch list, as have been the last eight or nine that I've talked about. Unbelievably unusual. To have this many stocks on my watch list that I know are on a lot of people's watch list. So to have this many stocks down this dramatically at their 52-week low and down 70, 80, 90% is very unusual. So this is a very, very tough stock market. So that's one of the reasons that I'm kind of doing this little mini series here of stocks at their 52 week low. This stock is down 61% in three months. Nothing's even happened in this company. They've had no good news. They've had no bad news. They're just down 61% just because. So that's the kind of market we're in right now. So again, none of this is financial advice. Please be very careful. All of these stocks are falling quickly. So I think some of them are a buy. I own Arrow. Please do your own due diligence and make your own buying decisions. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.